All right, so we've got, if we look at this question, we've got a lion is chasing a zebra. The zebra notices the lion when it's 40 metres away. Um, from this time, the lion approaches with this speed, and the zebra runs away with this speed. Uh, so the zebra is 20. Take 20 is minus 0 0.12. Okay, find the speed of each animal after one second. So, L1 is going to be 15 e to the minus 0 0.1. And Z of 1. Thanks, Mr. Yes, no worries. You should have a nice evening. See ya. I'm going to. See ya, Emerson. Have a nice evening. Take uh, 0 0.1. Alright, show that the lion's speed increases over time, whereas the zebra's speed increases over time. So, a couple of ways we can do that. Um, we can just think about this function here. As t increases, um, if we, like if we think about the graph of it, it's e to the negative t, so it's like this. If we think about uh, 15 e to the negative t, 20 e to the negative t. Ah, I see. All right. So it says show that now this is this is this part's calculus. So again, you wouldn't be asked this in this test, but you could be asked something like this in the exam. So it says, show that the line speed decreases over time, whereas the zebra speed increases over time. So this is the speed. What it wants you to do is find um, L dash of T, because the, and then if you're drawing the sine diagram with L dash of T, you'll see for the line that it's always negative. Um, like if you find the derivative of this, you can see it's going to be minus 1.5 e to the minus 0 0.1 T. So it's always going to be below the x-axis, always got... It's, it's always decreasing, and if you did the line, you'll see it's always going to be positive. Um, so, a bit of calculus in there, we can brush over that part because that won't be in this test, but it will be in the exam. Okay, find the integral from 0 to 3 of v of 1. Now, v1 is the line. So, the integral from 0 to 3 of the line. Let's just put that in our calculator. It doesn't ask us to do it exactly. From zero to three, thirty-eight point eight seven seven. Yeah. <laughs> thirty-eight point nine meters. So that's um, this is the lion's velocity, and so that's how far the lion travels in the first three seconds. Find the integral from 0 to 3 of v of 1, take v of 2, and interpret your answer. Alright, so again we'll give our calculator. It's going to be the integral from 0 to 3 of, now v of 2, uh, sorry, v of 1, take v of 2. So the line, take the zebra.
what's it going to leave? <laughs> Alright, so this is going to be the distance that the lion travels. This is going to be the distance that the zebra travels. So it's the distance between them after three seconds. Alright, so if we're going to answer that. Uh, the distance between the lion and the tiger. Did I do it manually or lots of the lion? And... No, I, I was looking at your distance. It's like two letters in one another. I love it. Yeah, nice. The lion, and look at that. The zebra is 3.7. <laughs> I didn't million. see that one. Did I do it manually? Um, what question is that? Um, Seven from Greece. Uh, five C. Five C. Question seven. Yeah. Uh, they do with five C. Yeah. Do they? Yeah. So they plug it in. Do they answer in terms of E or to three significant figures? Three significant figures. Oh, so that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. I was looking at the wrong answer. Um. So oh, D, actually. part E. Explain why the lion will be closest to the zebra when V1 equals V2. Alright, so what happens is the lion is faster to begin with. Tell you what, let's sketch the graph of them to help us visualise it, I think. That will help me explain this here. This is probably the crux of the problem. Is in there. Maybe Y's, yeah, Y's not high enough, just crank it up to 20. And you might need to increase X a bit. Um, okay, so what I want to point out here, what we've got is the velocity here, or the speed that you're using in this circumstance, velocity against time. So when when the lion the lion's coming in from the you know from outside and the zebra sees it, so the zebra starts to run away, all right. But his initial speed's quite slow, whereas the lion's going really fast, all right. But the lion slows down over time. So all along this interval, the lion is going faster than the zebra. They're both moving, all right. If you think of a lion and a zebra, yeah. all right. It should have been an yeah, yeah. I, I really think so. So the lion's moving faster. The zebra's moving away, but not quite as fast. Mm -hmm. Alright? At this point in time, their velocity is the same. And what's happening after that period of time? The zebra is moving faster, which means he's going to get further and further and further away from the lion mm -hmm. after that point in time. Okay, so now that we, we do we understand that sort of picture? Yep. So then let's try articulate an answer here. Explain why the lion will be closest to the zebra when V1 equals V2. All right, so this is tricky, you know, trying to think, how, how do I write something like that? So um, what we should say is, uh, and let's just G-solve that point of intersection to use it rather than uh, writing it. And we'll probably find this in a sec. 5.596. 5.596? Yep. Right, and we'll say something like before t equals 5.596, the line is moving and is getting closer to it. After T equals 5.596. The zebra is moving faster. And hence getting further away from the line. So it says 
there velocity that's equal at the intersection? Yes. Or is it their, it's not their position? No, not their position. Their velocity is equal at that point. After that point, the zebra is moving faster, so he's getting further away. Mm -hmm. um, and the lion's moving slower, so getting further behind. Yeah. Um, so before that, so let's just see what we've said before. It's the lion is faster and than the zebra and it's getting closer to it. After that period of time, the zebra is moving faster and hence getting further away from the lion. Therefore, the point when they are closest together is when t equals 5.516. Yeah. Okay. Uh, find the time when V1 equals V2. Alright, so that's F. And I might need a bit of space for that because we're going to be doing some lin and some E. Sorry, that was very negative. <laughs> <laughs> mm, no, we, no, you should say yes. Do it now rather than in the exam. So. But it probably means it's going to be in the exam. Pardon? It probably means it's going to be in the exam. <laughs> Oh no. There's definitely E and me in the exam. As long as we don't cheat, because there was a couple, a while ago, like 15 years ago or something, we got into the person that brought a dictionary into their physics exam. Really? With stuff written in it. Really? But it got discovered before the exam, so. Yeah. Lucky. Well, okay. Lucky. Um, what yeah. we should do here, let's, um, we want to collect these, these are like terms, aren't they? Mm -hmm. So we're going to add 20e to the minus 0 0.1t to both sides. I got that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Only chance. Alright, yes. so 35e to the minus 0 0.1t equals 20. Alright, then we're wanting, we want to get um, the e part by itself, so divide both sides by 35. And that would simplify, we can divide both by 5, um, 4 on 7. And then we're going to lin both sides. So we're going to have lin. And then so we get t is minus 10 lin of 4 and 7 um, which is Okay, now, so this is where it helps to do the whole question. So, when Letitia's watching this part, in part uh, D, we calculated the distance between the line and the zebra, all right, by doing the integral from zero to three of the velocity of the line take the velocity of the zebra. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to do that same thing. We're integrating from zero to 5.596 of um, the line. So I'll write that out. Lion take the zebra. Um, because that's going to be the distance between the lion and the zebra after 5.596 seconds. So let's check that. So what we're putting in our calculator. Show me how you can put your lower and your upper in. Yep. In here, in, in the graph. graph. Oh, show me that. So, like if we have, have you drawn both functions? Yeah. 
Put them in, no. and I'll show you. Yeah, um, so what you're going to do, yeah, Sorry. is we go to G Sol, uh, integral, mm -hmm. and we go um, mixed, mm -hmm. alright, because we're not, we're not strictly speaking about the terms of first and second. Press enter for that one, and then the cross arrow, and yeah, nice 38.1. But you don't have to like manually put that in and then put that in. No. No. Yeah, 38.1. So because that's the 